Welcome! I'm glad you could make it to my interview. My name is Darian. Okay. Yeah, no. Welcome to the Pandemonium Podcast. As, you know... As my son was... What? As my son would suggest. As my son would suggest. <laughs> yeah. So, starting out today, you know, I'm here with Alan. Aaron. Levi. Daniel. <laughs> Switch those first and last. Anyways, so this is our first podca- pandemonium podcast. Okay, yeah. soon this will be a, a national treasure, so we're going to make it worth it. No, this is going to be crazy. Like, like cray cray? Like pandemonium. Alan, seriously. <laughs> wow. Anyways, starting out with our first podcast, I... Thought we could talk about uh, our first episode. We recently finished filming it, whoop, whoop. recording it, and uh, Aaron put it all together with a few little, you know, yeah. hiccup Oops. glitches, but <laughs> it, it's, it's pretty much done. <laughs> pretty so, much user error. We never filmed those. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. I don't know. I spent a lot of time <laughs> recording stuff. I you think. had a lot of lines. Yeah, but... okay. I was the main character for that first episode. I'll just rub that in. I just rub that in. <laughs> so, you know. Four lines, right. man. So, you what did everyone what did everyone <laughs> think about the experience? Yeah. Well, I you know, here at the end of it, I kind of I really like how it turned out. I definitely am feeling the need for kind of speed higher equip like higher level equipment. Yeah. But I think with what we had, we ended up making it look really, mm-hmm. really good. It was definitely more helpful to have Aaron's like kick ass computer. Oh, yeah. 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 The the frame rate on our first one. We had not we had inspection. We had, <laughs> yeah, we had three <laughs> comments on our Reddit link if and our like Facebook page. A decent frame yeah. rate. <laughs> one person was complaining about the frame rate and the other ones just one person just said gay and then the other cool. person was like <laughs> Machinima was like funny seven years ago. Obviously, they <laughs> haven't heard of like you know Red versus Blue or yeah, any so of the other good two years Machinimas. I you know I think as long as an avenue is there for a kind of production idea, you use it. There was yeah, a good comment was... though. Someone said that they were excited to see more. Than yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, do you know who that was? Oh, and, and you made of... a comment there too, right? Because my mom also made a comment on that as well. She so, did? Yeah. So you and my mom were the only comments. Heck yeah. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we're, we're like Actually, fat people who live in their basement. You know, I haven't, really, I haven't really checked it recently. We should check it out. But anyways, Later. yeah, that's kind of the direction I do want to go, though. It's just music mm-hmm. um, with a company with the... Uh, we get... Our lips moving, which not a lot of other machinimas, if any, have. Yeah. And I like that, and we can use emotes, which it can adds bring to a it. little bit more feeling yeah. into the piece. Same with the music, and that that's kind of why I like using the symphonic scores and the soundtrack music along with it. And it 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 can cause that sort of emotion, and, and, and I like bringing something new to it where. Yeah, there there isn't much emotion going on. There isn't like actually interacting, but it's just people going off of what's already part of the game, or not moving at all, or just kind of not really being able to take advantage of the things that Final Fantasy brings to it. Yeah, the table. yeah. And I don't think the first episode should have been nine minutes and forty five seconds long, but it was it was pretty long. No, it's okay. Yeah, I just wrote the script. <laughs> you know, yeah. when I wrote the script. It, what turned out to be like 11 pages long. I didn't think it was good. I, I didn't even think that was going to take one minute for each page. I really didn't. I thought it was going to end up being quite a bit shorter than I wanted it to. Mm-hmm. And you got to imagine, based on that with my other scripts, I mean, how long would, how long would be that? having an next, actual TV next show? Time, next time, just read your script to a timer and whatever you get out of it that's probably how long it is well i'll hand you guys the script and you guys can do that <laughs> but i mean it's the first episode we'll see how it it's goes. good yeah Consider i, I it think like there's enough pilot. humor in it that not to mention some of the things we added to it were pretty good yeah. so mm-hmm. we, we still need cat calling girls like kind of like Woo! yeah 
yeah, oh. sort of like that. Yeah. So for the background noise yeah, for that, it, it just anyone doesn't signing up? It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Be free. Uh, well, are we gonna do? We could just have like the three of us try to do a high yeah, pitch, sure, and then no. Aaron That's, could yeah. just to, to I, adjust it. I was thinking it. that because there's there's <laughs> oh also gosh, a thing really called like that. Uh, the chorus, and so you can make like one person sound like three people, and oh, then just kind of like. Uh, well, we could try that out. I mean, the. Doesn't it doesn't hurt to try that kind of stuff yeah. out? But oh wait, we gotta change that final scene though, don't we? What final scene? Where it's like after you introduce all of us, Everyone. I say it's a pleasure to meet you. Five seconds later. Yeah, where everyone's like <laughs> doing the head turns and stuff yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah, it just took way too long because it was a nice try. Like I'll admit, you guys had a pretty cool idea where you wanted to, you know, have your heads point towards the person. Oh no, you can do it. You can still do it. We just had the we had too long of like talking because we we I don't think we were thinking of the fact that it was going to be three words that we were going to say. So all we have to do is just that and switch the heads and we could do no, the, speed the head the heads things was long. It was a long scene for what we had. I I feel like I was saying well, we'll go back but we'll like so that. was it so like is there a way we could do that same scene just short in how long everyone's looking at people or do we just want to redo that scene all together is like what are we talking about with that i feel like this is something we can discuss outside of the podcast <laughs> since we're digressing and as much as we want to promote our first episode i do think that we should start getting into the podcast or else it's going to be five minutes of us talking about stuff that no one's going to want us you're to sick talk. editing yeah <laughs> college yeah, editing. Sure. okay but well i welcome think... to a day in the light <laughs> I think definitely what we should do is move move away from that because we we've, we've definitely talked right. about Where that. Where do you want to move to? Well, might be we a long should, trap. well, we should definitely talk about what kind of podcast we're going to have. Here it <laughs> what? I was like, this is what he wants to talk about. No, I was just going to say that the kind of podcast is going to be is just one where we'll we'll discuss. We'll discuss more of the things that interest us, you know, sticks with the kind of sci-fi world, video games, things like that, but we'll also be discussing more uh, just like random talk topics that we come up with that we feel could spark interesting conversations. And so, 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 so what random topics did you come up with? Well, well the first one. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, great segue. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, and this one was interesting. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys heard. I feel like it's big news, but did you hear? What North Korea did today? Today? Today. Oh, uh-huh, I haven't heard that. <laughs> oh, big news, big news. North Korea sent a man to the sun today. Oh. Took him four hours to get there, too, so they've got some really cool tech. Four hours back, they've taken samples of the sunspot. No, broadcasted all over North Korean news. The the astronauts being praised, See, getting award for the way he's saying it. Oh, it's, it's not real. Okay. Kim Jong Un did what? He spoke? I didn't even say his name right. What? What were you saying? Yeah, Kim Jong Un is dead. Right? No, ill. King Jong oh. Il is dead. King Jong oh, there you go. My <laughs> King Jong Il was ill. <laughs> yeah, <they're dead. laughs> okay. Anyway, we don't want to be killed. Here I'm thinking, here I'm thinking North Korea did something normal. Okay, no, wait, so were you, were you completely crap on that? No, no it's like, a, they, it's a, they, they, actually, they, actually, they actually published a news story saying that and everything, that they made it to the moon. So you're dead serious. Or to the sun, yes, dead serious. That's, they no. claim officially that they are the first to make it to the sun and have a man walk on the sun. <laughs> so the sun I'm is sorry. officially. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't realize that walk on the sun was part of the making it to the sun. Anyway. Yeah. Walked on the sun, grabbed samples and everything. And the great part is, is that he lived. That's no, the great part. No, the great part is, is the way they were able to do it was that they launched when it was nighttime. Oh so while they were God. approaching the sun, it was dark. So he didn't get. He did not get burned from the sun. Thank and goodness. That's how they. Oh. That's how they were able to get him there. Broad like, logic can. Do I can understand. I can understand some people being stupid, but an entire <laughs> country. Careful. Like. <laughs> well, it's not like they're gonna hear this because it's the, everything is censored there. They wouldn't hear this. Like, oh my gosh! At night. <laughs> and it took him only 18 hours round trip. 
<laughs> including <laughs> lift off and landing. So yeah, man. I mean, who knows? I know. If you got it, I, that's, yeah. that's scary. If you've got someone that can land, walk on the sun, get samples, and come back in 18 hours, world domination. It, it kind of yeah. reminds me of like the Cold War and how Russia felt like Star Wars was real. <laughs> like, the, I know, I know, I know, like, I know that one. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> they thought we could like put up a laser defense grid to like block <laughs> missiles and fire them with the Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just asserting our power. <laughs> well, did you guys hear about the petition about the Death Star? Yeah. What? A hundred thousand signatures sent to President Obama urging them to build a Death Star. Come on. <laughs> well, they know the difference between a real petition and Oh, not. right. You're you able know. to get enough signatures on there. You That's know. pretty Put cool. a petition on there to cut Congress's pay because they're not doing anything. Two <laughs> signatures. Two, 2,000, maybe 10,000 at most. But no, we need a Death Star. So let's get 10,000 signatures on that. 100,000 mm-hmm. signatures later. Uh, it's like... I just signed that petition, though. I did, yeah, yeah. A lot of people did, but not enough. But anyways, I meant for the Death Star. Oh, <laughs> yeah, enough people find that one. Well, it, that was my my big one. bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this footage. Yeah. That's what I want to see. I they don't have footage. footage. That no, but like they were showing it, like showing something. <laughs> yeah, on TV. I think they showed like a space shuttle launch takeoff, yeah. take off, which is funny because. And Based the on what I did, it didn't even like get out of orbit. <laughs> it, just, like, <laughs> Dude, they, it wasn't even velocity. there. It wasn't even their show loss. I'm pretty sure it was for footage from earlier of some other sp- launch. 1987. <laughs> yeah, the great thing was is based Apollo on what I saw, return. it was during the day that the launch took place, which according to them, it took place at night, well, so that way they could it make it to the It was daytime, so that by the time they got, got there, it, it would be night. nighttime. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you're right. I don't know. I don't know. We all know the well. sun is colder at it's night. <laughs> Gosh. If there's a dark side of the moon, there has to be a dark side of the sun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the sad part is, is there there are people out there, not just North Koreans, there are people out there who believe that's true. Or there are like, some people who still believe the Earth is the center of the universe. Or like, some, my favorite is people... There's no one smart. Or that the yeah. Holocaust yeah. happened. I got a racist joke there. <laughs> oh, that is so <laughs> that is Anyways, super racist. There, there are people who look at like old black and white photos, and they're like, I, I can't believe the world used to be black and white. It's so weird that we're in color now. I grew up that way. You thought that? <laughs> that I thought my parents saw black and white. <laughs> it's so odd to me because I just can't fathom. I'm thinking I was, that. I was way. young. Come on. That one day, like there was just like a genetic offspring that you <laughs> could see in color. In color. Like, no, like, this and is, then all of a sudden the world. Is, the parents are like, "What's wrong with my kid? He's talking about, about these, these colors, colors <laughs> that you can see." <laughs> they wouldn't have a word for colors though. <laughs> these these shades, shades that that, that aren't. Are, Gray or black, black or white. white. Like, how do you describe books that were written before photographs could even be taken, describing colors and stuff like that? You know, I, I mean, how many Japanese poems are about the color red or something like that? And I understand, like, you know, based on what you see, you could think that and everything like that. And so it's just a little kind of confusion, but it's just, mm-hmm. it's one of those things that's hard to fathom. So I got a question for you crap. guys. Um, what what kind of uh, what kind of group do you think would uh, try to push through legislation to make Pi officially 3.2 instead of 3.14 numbers numbers numbers? People numbers, who numbers. can't round. People who don't realize why Pi is 3.1. Yeah, pi. exactly. Well, Indiana State Congress was the one who tried to do that. Freaking Indians. Like uh, Indiana. Ins. Indiana is. Okay, well, there's another category. No, I was, are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't you all call them that? No. Oh. 
Yeah, there you go. That's for you. But yeah, apparently, <laughs> apparently 3.2 or 3.14. Don't use Reddit for conversation hey, topics. These are these are good ones. Yeah, but everyone's already Reddit. I haven't. Ah. That's why they call it Reddit. Okay. Well, it has nothing to do with the color. I learned that. What about day. Alan's question from the other night? I, I bet you anything, anything we come up with has been discussed at some point. I know, but it hasn't been discussed by us, and not recently. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't go that way. Well, fine. The topic. There we go. All right. The topic that I brought up. Yeah. yeah, that everyone's waiting been waiting for this. is that. So. I, I was thinking the other day about, like... Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Steam, you, whatever. I was thinking the other day about, like, the concept of a world in the world in Pokemon, where you have, you have humans that basically go around capturing these animals that are sentient and actually have thoughts and they can actually... Pretty much, they could probably put together a society if they really wanted to. And they're being enslaved by these people to just go and battle and do all this other stuff and everything. And you realize that animals are kind of the same way, like a wolf pack kind of But we're talking, society. we're talking okay. uh, a group of animals like on the pack. same level as a, like That's thinking not as a no, human. No, 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 all right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it. Okay. It's not they're but not it's all animals. Okay. And okay. Perfect example of equal rights. Oh no. Mr. Mime. <laughs> okay. He got to live in a no, house. You. And he got you're to already, clean you're clothes. Going, you're already going the wrong route. He had there. hands. You're already going, going the like wrong. A, <laughs> no. He looked like a human for the most part. Hear me part. out. Hear Don't me out. Don't discriminate against the hands. Hear me out. Okay. It's not what you're saying. You're you're saying it incorrectly. While there wow. is groups of people who quote unquote enslave Pokemon like Team Rocket or the teams and stuff like that, it's not all Pokemon. You know, you take a real Pokemon trainer, and the Pokemon that they with, they have a bond, they're a team. They don't send them out to battle because the trainer wants to battle. It's a, it's almost like a contract between the Pokemon and the trainer. That he signs when he's fainted. No, yeah. no. Okay, There's, but no. <laughs> Any Pokemon that does not want to be caught won't be caught. It's been proven Unless in the show. It out. No, because yeah. that's the point. It, 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 it doesn't matter. The Pokemon will run away or everything like that. The Master Ball? Well, okay. well fine. fine. <laughs> what you're <laughs> failing to realize is like, the Pokeball is just a thing to make it convenient. They don't want to have a trainer walking around with six Pokemon walking behind them, especially if one of those Pokemon is Wailord. No, the Pokeball is just a convenient. Can walk. <laughs> it was it was an ex- example, Alan. Okay. A very good example too. Okay, yeah. but it, the Pokeball is there for convenience sake. It's there so that there's a way to transport and travel the Pokemon. But the truth is, is like it's like what Aaron says. Mr. Mime is working in, in you know without pay to, to help. <laughs> Yeah, what? He what is these? Free room he gets and free board. room and board <laughs> food. You know, we he don't gets know that. Help. Did he have his own room, or did he just but, go outside? So, so how often do you see? Well, and I mean, the Pokemon might be this way though, from years of conditioning. Like, how was it back when humans and Pokemon, okay, Pokemon first? Well, how do you? How do you? Okay. okay like so then, here's, yeah. here's my <laughs> question: the How do you explain a dog? Okay, are we enslaving a dog? Yes. Sometimes we make it. So, okay, well then that... But here's here, the, the difference between a dog and a Pokemon is that, One's unlike real. a dog, <laughs> <laughs> in regards to this argument, uh, think about someone like Mr. Mime, who can oh, actually live in a house, do things that humans do and everything. Most people, Pokemon can think that way. Okay, but there are Pokemon who go out and do their own thing that aren't shackled to a trainer. But what if there was a Pokemon that didn't want to be shackled to a trainer? Okay. What if the Pokemon like, came up with Charizard. their own huma, huma balls and like, <laughs> like knocked out humans and caught them and it's convenience. They signed a contract. Yeah. 
It seems convenient because we're on the side that's on top. It's like slavery. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's like it's more like domestication than it is I like guess. slavery. But d- that's what they claim slavery was, is domestication. Okay, but here's the big difference. Here's the big difference, Alan. Okay, you know, one's real. Not all of them have disposable thumbs. <laughs> I know, thumbs. and even <laughs> opposable okay. thumbs. Not <laughs> I don't know of anything that has disposable thumbs. <laughs> you get done with them, you just... <laughs> okay, but, but wait, the, diff- the difference is, is, okay, Mr. Mime can do that stuff. There are Pokemon that can do that stuff. There are animals that can do stuff like that. Monkeys. Dolphins are supposed to be on the same level. They don't have speak or anything like that. Or disposable neither does, thumbs. Neither <laughs> disposable. <laughs> disposable, sorry. <laughs> disposable. <laughs> I'm making you down. <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of grammar <laughs> now. Like, oh. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was trying to, okay. I was trying but, to be incorrect. So, how, Alan, so how do you explain a monkey in a zoo? <laughs> Is that slavery, or is that just <laughs> in my a, lot of, a lot of like it's captivity? It's okay, like the hero okay. Or like well, the... you can't expect one world to be some utopia where they. But they they make it out to be a utopia. No, they don't. There's plenty of. Problems. They have ten year old kids going around the world without Alan, adult no. supervision. Do you know why no it's it is, Alan? It. Do you know why it's ten years old? It's because it's based in Japan. In Japan. The culture's different. Yeah, perverts. And you in know? medieval time, you know, and you would start out a lot younger when you would be doing stuff. Yeah, like but at 14, you'd be a knight already. Be and married. then at 20, you'd be dead. <laughs> 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 they, have, they don't have much time with these Pokemon. And so. But that's, that's my thing, though, is that... Okay, but you got to think of it this way. No, I, this is a good argument. I think one thing you fail to realize, like, let's take the first league for an example. Okay. The what? The Indigo League, the first oh, season oh, of Pokemon. That. Okay, people get this grand idea that Kanto is huge, like as big as a continent. Wait, why did you say two different words? Indigo? In, it's the Indigo League in Kanto. It's, well, no, because yeah. Kanto is, an, is like a state. Exactly. Kanto isn't even like a state. It's like this valley. Okay. So essentially... Ash is walking around, maybe a little bit wired, like down to Provo. Ash is walking around a valley like this, going and catching Pokemon, going from Utah. gym to gym. <laughs> going from gym to gym. He may be 10 years old, but he has Pokemon to help him out. That's why it was perfectly okay for him to go out and start traveling at his age. Because all he did was just go down the street, apparently. And not, not down the street, but, you know... I just... can see the other gym from here. <laughs> <laughs> but like, let's spend twenty episodes to get there. No, that was the beauty of the first season: fifty-two episodes, all eight gyms, Ooh. and the league. I'm kind of sad you know that, but <laughs> <laughs> it just came out on Netflix. What? Yeah, the first oh. and the last season. Not the last season. Oh, the first the season first... and the beginning of Black and White. Hey guys, have you? Uh... I mean, I think we've discussed this. Definitely. Yeah, I think we yeah. are. But we got we got to come to agreement. No, we Mr. don't. Mime wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mime <laughs> is free because he's. What human. about Jinx then? Yeah, Jinx is a whore. <laughs> yeah, she can stand on the corner of streets because. Wow. Like, yes. Keep going. Her and Lickitung like make a perfect match together. One those for guys, are, one for girls. <laughs> those are painting some crazy pictures. <laughs> Same with your act, act follow up yeah. on that thing. So okay, <laughs> well, simmer. fine, you know. But what I'm saying is, you uh, know, you to told beating this dead horse. No, no. <laughs> is there like, is there wait, is there another humanoid Pokemon like out there? Humanoid. That's all I can think. Of. I mean, there's like Mime Junior, Smooch. Oh gosh, come on, that hard to do. Hitmon Chan, Hitmon Lee, yeah. Hitmon Ta, they and have, they were like in. Boxing clubs. Yeah. They were like. They were. They were yeah, raging. They were fighting. Machine, man. <laughs> they were fighting back. Fighting with power. <laughs> yeah. Like the Garden slave. War oh galley. my god. <laughs> what is with you guys today? <laughs> Anyways, okay. Uh, what were you saying, Alan? Uh, have you guys heard of the Oculus Rift? Yes. Oh my god. Coolest thing ever, right? Honestly, what? we need to we need to scrap up the money and buy a development set 
and start working on it. We might be able I, to get it. I don't know what Kay. you're talking about. So Oculus Rift is a, it's a software development kit for essentially a virtual reality. It's a headset with oh. peripherals, and you move the headset and it goes. I understand what virtual reality means. Well, <laughs> it's not the virtual mechanic. reality. It's 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 a little bit less. It's yeah. not like Sword Art Online. It's not. Which yeah. would be awesome. Yeah. Nerve gear. Yeah, oh, but it's gosh. it's cool. Don't it's, give it me is. that. But right now you can't buy it. It doesn't have games or anything right now. Well, but, they say you can play Metroid Prime on it. Yeah, the, people are developing Metroid Prime on it. Oh, but the, the difference okay. is, is you don't buy Oculus Rift and get games for it. If you buy it, you get the set, and then you're supposed to develop games for it. You're supposed to use it to work on stuff. We can you we could probably use the Unity and Real um, game engine to develop stuff for that yeah, and everything yeah. like that. But it's three hundred it? bucks to get the development set. But it comes, it comes with an with Oculus just Rift. One. Just yeah. one, and the stuff to Does get it started. Come up the Can you buy just the like if, Oculus Rift? So like I would have one with the set, but then if we all wanted one, I don't we know. Just buy we it. we could check out. I can't remember what the website. Well, said. so what does the development set include though? Because there there's the Oculus Rift with the pad. Uh huh. Does it include the pad? It sh it should include what, everything what, with it. What's the warranty? What do you mean? <laughs> What if we Who break cares? it? I care. Well, it's, it's probably, 300 bucks. It probably has a, 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 a normal <laughs> warranty. <laughs> we'll walk into it. It won't work. <laughs> Shut up. I'd be careful. Well, that's what the pad is. I think the, pad, it's broken. the pad basically yeah, like has a treadmill. Yeah, and you don't it, actually it rotates walk. around. Yeah. You can rotate around on it. And I'm not actually it. saying I'm going to run into a it wall. What if it just a breaks? A small no, treadmill? Not not necessarily a treadmill, but something that, so it kind of has, like your ball bearings. Is it the standing one you're talking about? Yeah, yeah it has ball bearings. Okay. And so oh, you can, so you can walk on the ball bearings and turn on the ball bearings, and it registers you moving forward. Oh, okay. And then you have the headset, and as you turn the headset, you can see what's been developed. They did Kokiri Forest from Zelda. They created it in the Oculus Rift. And so you could walk around, and if you looked around like this, Cookery. you would, whatever. Um, and so it's it's really cool. Like there are game, like there That's are games cool. and stuff out for it, but they're not like selling them as a no. system yet because what it is is it was a Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and you pay the money into it so that they can keep researching it, but you're supposed to also do research do your on own. it yourself and the more it's kind of like spreading out the research and development That's so for cool. metro prime would you have to like have a well they like have a, gun attachments like, uh, too attachment, like yeah. yeah one of the first things i ever saw was a shooter game mm -hmm. and so they had a gun attachment and the ball bearing thing and so they're running on the ball bearing thing and then they aim and where you aim the gun and look is where you're was where you're shooting. It That's was pretty cool. That's so can, pretty we, cool. can you like aim over here and look over here? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure. Because the pretty, that's expensive. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You would because it would be something where you could like shoot behind you as you're running if you wanted to be like that. <laughs> I, I assume that they would set it up like that, but. I mean, think about like Outlast. Yeah. Um, Dude, no. No, 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 no. Oh my God, no, that would be the worst. No, it would be. But oh also, gosh, I would no, it wouldn't be awesome die. at all. You would. You'd kill yourself. But like, imagine the workout as you're running for your life. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs but I mean, like that's, that's, a cool a, idea. that's the thing is like it's three hundred bucks for the development kit, and since we're a production company nothing. anyways. Aaron and I were planning on doing video games as is. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So, just I an, idea. an idea. Well, uh, I'll what, shell out 300 bucks like right now. <laughs> I could pitch in a little. How about I we get a mic? Yeah, yeah, I think right now we need to focus on like the mics. No. <laughs> uh, video games. I had, an, I had, a, I had an, an idea for investing oh with gosh. our rehaul, but I'll tell you guys that when I finish that. What? I would make a Sonic game. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> running. How do you jump? How do you jump? Like I don't curl know. into a ball and. I'm probably just press a button. No, that's stupid. This is virtual reality, man. Curl into a ball and do it yourself. You'd have to like, yeah. Put your little head between your legs and start rolling on the ball bearings. On the ball bearings now. 
<laughs> it's a two-player game. One person <laughs> just like running. Oh, well, that'd be really difficult. It. No, it'd probably just be a, a running game then at that point yeah. with Sonic. But Temple well, ride. there could be there no. could be buttons. <laughs> I, I, yeah. It's a real temple. But ride. yeah, I mean that's just a cool idea. It is uh, a pretty cool idea. I'd like to see it go further. I like Kickstarter. They do have a lot of good ideas. Like the one I called you about. Did you that did you hear about that? They're coming out. There's one Kickstarter with uh, these laser tag guns that are their own system in itself. So each gun comes with like its own operating system inside and an LED screen as a heads up display on it. And you're able to actually shoot large distances, almost as large as a, a airsoft gun, and you can do it outside and everything. You can set up games on it, and it will keep track of like who the territories or if you're near where the flag is you don't even need a physical flag like there'll be a digital flag and it'll it'll have you having captured the flag and so they have different color led lights in the guns to kind of say what's going on with the person like red and blue so you know who's on what team does it have like tracking do you um, know? They, to track the other gun, that could be something. It could that comes something, that yeah, GPS. that they can do because because the assassin, the assassin game. Like I found stick and find, which would be a semi okay way to do it, but that would be perfect because there would be no question about whether or not you had been killed. Mm-hmm. I think we could do like close range gunshots where we can you like limit the distance. Yeah, I mean it's it's basically. You can do whatever you want in the system if you know how to develop it. You can create so whatever game type and everything. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking of a game kind of like that where you would... Uh, gives you new meaning to Let's Play. You would... Like, it would yeah. just be like an app on your phone, but like anyone who played Ooh. it, you would... Uh, it would create just like a, a digital world in mm-hmm. the phone, and then based on use, like maps. Yeah, based on off of like maybe Google Maps or like just. There's a game out there that's kind of like. You that. would have to use like you would look into it, and you would just be shooting like a player over there who's actually like using the phone or something. You know what's cool player. about that? Google's developing like um. Cool idea. It's some kind of imaging where it bounces. It's kind of like um, sound and sound, bounces yeah. off. But it creates like Batman style, kind of like that. But it creates three-dimensional areas based on what it's being pinged off of. So if you have that and you like walked around the entire building, you could create a 3D model of that building because you walked around it. Yeah, if we, if you kind of had a lot of that around the world or just a certain area, you could use that to, just to help create, create a radio world. world. Oh, I'm sorry. Radioactive. It's already radioactive. radioactive. I know. <laughs> it's sonar. The only thing sound. that's not no, is wine from before the nuclear testing. Wait, what? what? Everything in our world yeah. has yeah. radiation on it, except for wine that was made and corked before uh, our we started testing atomic bombs. Yeah, because when we tested atomic bomb bombs, the radiation stuff went around the world, it irradiated the ground, the grapes, and everything like that, but if it was a wine that was made and corked before all that happened, the outside of the bottle will have that stuff, but the wine on the inside, because it's in there, okay. won't have been irradiated, and so that's, it, that was on white collar, right? Yeah, it's yeah, white they, collar. You can tell if it's a fake or not <laughs> by checking no out if it has radiation, if it's inside it, then you know it's past a certain date, and so it's not like a... 1676 vintage it's a has to be later than like the 19 you know 30s so cool that's new knowledge no knowledge Knowledge i'll never use knowledge (laughs) i want levi to tell me his earthquake story again oh my gosh because (laughs) that has got to be one of the funniest things i've ever heard you didn't hear I don't it. think I've ever yeah, heard it. Yeah, Aaron hasn't heard it. I've so. never heard it. You, you were there. there! Wait, what? Remember that? <laughs> you'll remember it. You'll remember Yeah, okay, it. yeah. Okay, so, grew up in California. Earthquakes happened often. There was this one night that I woke up, and I don't know what, it, I just felt a little dizzy. Wasn't sure what was going on. I kind of looked around, and and it was just the weirdest feeling that I was having. And I heard the our pool in the back just kind of sloshing. I was like, what the heck is that? And my I, my bed was 
in a position where I could look at my closet doors. And my closet doors were stupid. So they were the kind that, that what, what do we call it? Drew out or the sh- they're like, like they shutters. folded out. Yeah. The fan? Like, or... like when you pull it open, it like yeah. opens like, you know. Like, so it's, <laughs> a, it's a four door half folding. Yeah, door folds in as you open it. Yeah. So honestly, the lightest touch, I, I could close it and I would test it. I'd just like touch it and push it a little bit and it would just open. And so that night, I look over. And one door just slowly is opening the whole time. I'm like, what the heck? And I freaked out. And Oh, it was terrible. Terrible. Next morning, turns out that there was a circular earthquake going on that night. And it was like, that's what the, circles. That's what the sloshing was. <laughs> the sloshing in the pool was the and pool. And like, woke him up. Mm-hmm. But like at the time, you got to think, oh no, something's woken me up. <laughs> and then you look over at the closet and all of a sudden... And I'm telling you, it must have been like three days after I'd seen arachnophobia because I was scared oh, out of my mind. Spiders! <laughs> Some earthquakes were stupid. Oh, or, I had a trophy or that yet, Aaron, and hit me in the oh, Why don't you tell us the story about how you almost shat your pants that one time? No, so... No, but I, you're going I, to. We had just got done Dark, watching Dark Falls. Darkness Falls, which, <laughs> as it stands, when it comes to like horror movies or just scary movies, like, even like rated R movies, I still think I would go with the PG-13 Darkness Falls as scary. I don't know if it's just because I've been traumatized now <laughs> after it, but I, we watched it, I went and took a shower and Wait, everything. wait, wait, we gotta, we gotta explain the premise of the okay. evil creature okay. in Darkness Falls. I guess, Falls. I guess, for those who haven't seen it, yeah, like uh, I'm just joking. Darkness Falls is kind of about like a kid. Darkness falling. No, it's a kid who, when he's when he's when he's young, a kid, he sees uh, this a tooth, the tooth tooth fairy, the tooth fairy. fairy. What? (laughs) Yeah. And and because there's this lore about this lady who used to give kids like money Money for for their their teeth. teeth then they got scared of her and they burned her at the stake. Well, here's, she yes. was like, I'm going to come back yeah. and take anyone who like sees my face. Well, here's what happened. Porcelain mask yeah, she, the sun. she was, yeah, she couldn't be in the sun. <laughs> so she took the kid's teeth and made a porcelain ah, mask out of their yeah. teeth. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. And people thought she was really freaky because of that. And they oh, really? Burned, they burned <laughs> her as a witch. And so as they burned her, she's yelling out a curse that, you know, whenever you're child loses a tooth their first tooth. their first tooth I'm gonna come after them and if if they see uh, you know if they see my face or if they see me then I'm going to kill them yeah Jeez. and like how do you make a porcelain mask out of teeth would know. they just be a tooth mask <laughs> like, no. it, be a it becomes it's porcelain it's weird <laughs> it how they porcelain. But anyway, the bone gets anyways, changes property so when he's mm-hmm. a kid he sees it and then somehow the it kills his mother too, like anyways. Yeah. Like the mother sees it. Sees like, it. A little collateral damage. Yeah, collateral damage apparently. But he runs into the, the kid, shower. Right? Yeah, and it doesn't kill him. And so he he goes on living and he's just afraid of the dark and he paints her and he like has flashlights and he has to like stock up with batteries every single day. And then there's this girl that he was into when he was a kid that he was going to go to the dance with before she, he saw the tooth fairy. And now she has a kid who's going through the same thing, so he helps the kid overcome, and together they eventually kill the tooth fairy. Gosh. And so that's what it's about, but main points to look out is like Scary. black figure with a white mask. Okay, that's what the main villain was. And so I take a shower, I'm, I'm like, you know, Naked. Pretty much. <laughs> Boxers and like a towel or whatever. And I'm just I'm upstairs and my room's downstairs. So I get up, I'm going down. You run down the stairs real as fast as you can because you're a kid. And just there's like two, two walls that kind of jet out. And then after you do it, you take a left and there's a hallway. And then there's my room right in front of you. And so I, I go... And, like, I'm, I'm seeing my room. It's dark downstairs because the lights are off because no one was down there. Darkness fell. And, you know, just kind of, like, in my peripheries, 
I, I caught a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. And I kind of looked over to see what it was because it was, it was, it was, there Not was supposed to be there. Yeah, something <laughs> drew my attention that way. And so I turn over and I just see a black figure with a white mask. <laughs> and so I just run and jump into my dark bedroom onto my bed. And then I'm like, no, oh, it's still dark. So I get up as fast as I can. I flip on the light and I jump like backwards into my bed, like like still watching Attack the me. door, just <laughs> waiting for it to come in. Like and and I'm just it, it takes me a few seconds to where I'm like just on the bed and I'm like, don't do that, Dad. And I just like start yelling. And he comes in like trying to get me to be quiet because apparently I wasn't supposed to be his victim. He was gonna go and scare everyone else. But oh man, because it was the it was the Jason mask, and our Jason mask was like glow in the dark. Yeah. And so I saw something illuminating from over there. And I just like couldn't like. Gosh. But oh, it's so it's funny like, because, you know, like, just run down the... Yeah, because our dad w- went down and put on the, the mask and everything because he was going to come up and scare us all. It was just unfortunate that Aaron <laughs> <laughs> down there, but... <laughs> yeah, it he, worked out better than... Yeah, he, <laughs> he would have ever he imagined. Really, he, he needed to go take a shower. I think that was the one... <laughs> I think that was the one time I've been, like, legitimately, like, scared. Beard, yeah. Hi. How about you, Alan? You got a good time? What? What? You call that good time? A good Games time. Board? A good time where you got scared. <laughs> no, like I have small stories here or there, but nothing big. Like uh, the the other night, like I was at my story. new apartment. No, that's a really <laughs> short story. I was at my new apartment and everything, and so I'm still getting used to my surroundings. Because because uh, <laughs> everything's different and so I was just laying in bed and I woke up in the middle of the night and I'm like looking around and I look over at the door and since I don't have any glasses or anything everything's blurry and all of a sudden when I look at the door there's just a big dark bulge right there where the door is and I'm just looking at it and everything going oh crap what's going on here who is that and then like I reach over and put on my glasses and it was just the scarves hanging from my door and I yes. forgot I put it on there and yes. so they're all just hanging there and everything a large group and I'm like I can't do that to myself that's just horrible <laughs> oh that's funny the one time that sticks out in my head is that one time we went to that hot spring. You mean last year? Yeah, just last year. Was I like, there? Yeah, you were there. You, we were all, I wasn't. You, and Levi wasn't. We were all walking back, and like we had, we had gone on that hike in the morning, mm-hmm. and then um, we went on that. And so oh, we're the, coming... The hi- nighttime hike. Yeah, the nighttime okay. hike. Okay. So we're coming back, and Aaron, Alan, and Elizabeth are like way ahead of me oh, and yeah. Kylie because... You know, uh, you wanted to be alone. I, no, I, I just couldn't walk anymore. Oh, I no. hiked all day. I hiked up there, and we were hiking back, and I was just so tired, and my uh, feet yes. hurt. So I was like, you know, I was just kind of dragging behind, and Kylie was just sticking with me because I was dragging behind, and so they get far enough ahead that we can't really see them anymore because they only have flashlights and everything like that. And so we had been throwing rocks up into the hills and we'd be like, oh, look, there's Sasquatch, you know, making funny jokes about that, trying to freak everyone out. Well, somebody decided to stick around back as somebody was airing it. So we're, we're walking over there and all of a sudden out from behind me I hear Rawr! and they're <laughs> starting to run towards me. And instead of being like afraid, all of a sudden I'm like ready to attack. And so I'm yelling at him and like right about to lunge forward and just smack him in the face. <laughs> wow. But okay, Aaron's point I, of view. Was he really running? <laughs> He stood his ground and like, kind of like defended Kylie, I remember, but like, cool. I just remember his yell being more like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was freaking out, ah! you super saiyan! Well, you know what they say, you know, like, intimidation and everything <laughs> like that. <laughs> Oh, but like, uh, it was, like, it was, I wasn't so much intimidated. Though. Like maybe as, if it was Sash going to it, but it was more like, like you could hear the fear. Like, 
<laughs> so you'd have at least got him away out of humor. They'd been like, oh, that's just yeah, too funny. I can't kill this poor, poor. But, yeah. I thought it was funny because every time, every time the flashlight wasn't on me, I'd grab a rock and for a good few, two times, I was throwing them and everyone was like, did you guys hear that? I was like, yes. <laughs> But yeah, that was that's pretty fun. cool. But no, what I what I remember from that day is Alan was ready to about kill everyone. <laughs> what? He, no, I was he, I was decked. I wasn't ready to kill him. <laughs> oh yeah, he, I was decked out. We drive and we're to like the middle of nowhere for the hot springs, and Alan decides. I'm going to break an axe. <laughs> no, a hatchet, a hatchet with a rip cord in case anyone falls off a cliff. Yeah, be proud about it. Had, Keep going. He had knives, like, pull I out, had like, one knife. Like, one knife. Machete. I didn't have a machete. You I had just, a machete. I what? Just Don't you have a machete? I don't have a machete. No. I just remember he was... I had a shovel. If he, if, oh, yeah, he shoveled. Shovel. Shovel. He had a tactical <laughs> shovel. <laughs> Just you won't dig graves. anything. No, you won't dig anything. You're gonna cut people with that. Well, yeah. But it's like, yeah, you know, if Aaron wasn't the one suggesting the area, it was almost like the we were all place. going out yeah. there to the middle of nowhere so Alan could kill us. And then Alan's just like, oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You guys go. <laughs> and I was like, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> we're not gonna see him. And hey, if I you would have your spear, like your oh, spear you had brought. Had you would have brought it. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you yeah. would have. You totally would have. No, I would have brought the other stuff because I could have attached. I could have attached. You could have like slid it in the back. <laughs> yeah, actually, I probably yeah. could have. <laughs> way, yeah. the way my <laughs> harness brought it. Stop it. This is just getting scary. <laughs> I was just, well, you brought your, your portal bag too, didn't you? Yeah, to carry supplies. <laughs> in case you got water. stuck out there. <laughs> yeah. In case I got blood on me. And, uh, <laughs> Prepared, <laughs> guys. Oh my gosh. You know what? You'd laugh now, but if we had been stuck out there, then who would have been the yeah. one laughing? I know, because all I brought was just like swimming suit and a towel. I might have even forgot the towel. Yeah. I just came with a swimsuit <laughs> and a t shirt. I didn't go because I knew what Alan was thinking had I gone. <laughs> All of us would have died. Oh, no. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. Hope everyone enjoyed Panda Monium. We're gonna come up with something better, like yeah, a we'll... catchy tune or something. Because I think we could definitely do a lot more. I tried to do as best I could. Yeah. But... I think I think it was good for like freestyle talking. Yeah. If it wasn't for it me, was like... this would have been terrible. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Anyway, catch you it next time. It would have been. Terrible without you, but now it's just horrible.